Hello everybody, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I have come to you to um, bring you a video tonight, but I did not plug my microphone in, so let me do that real quick here. There we go. Hopefully that will help. And um, anyway, I am just going to uh, make sure my iPad is set up to where I can um, make sure that I keep you guys in focus with me. Looks good to me. So, um, anyway, we're going to be here tonight. We're going to do a card, and we're going to we are going to be um, focusing on circles. We're going to be making this Christmas card right here. But before we get all that started, let me just tell you that I have um, a Facebook page where I do a video every Tuesday morning at ten o'clock. After I do my video, I post a PDF in my files of that card that I did today, which will be this circle card with what I've done this week. I actually did my video today instead of Tuesday. Life got in my way. I could not um, get everything done, so I had to change my day. So it was today. So I thought I'd go ahead and get this done tonight. So you can pop over there at my... Um, Facebook group, which is Stamp Crazy VIP. Join it, and you can get any of the files from any of the videos of mine that you have seen. I would like for you to hit the share button if you wouldn't mind, and maybe you've got some crafter friends or somebody that might see your post and be able to um, come and check out my videos. And um, also, Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you feel like you need to for this card and what we're doing. And lastly, but not least, if you like what I do, hit the subscribe button so you can get notifications when I've done something so you'll be able to see it. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to help you with that. So um, if you need a catalog or whatever, please let me know. You can always go to my website, readahomes.stampinup.net, and, um, well, not my website, but my online store, and check that out, too. So, I also have a host code. If you do order, you can use that. So, let's get started. We're going to make this card right here. I did these two, and also did the circles. I used the dies, actually. You can use punches if you have punches. But I used the smallest die, which measures right at an inch. And um, I used this die, and then I used this second to smallest die over here, which measures right at two inches. And then I did this one, did one or two circles out of this. I don't always use that one, but it measures right at one and a quarter inch. So it's the smallest one here then the smallest one here and the second smallest one in that group. And that's how they're grouped when Stampin' Up! sends them to you and that's how I keep them. So that's what I used. If you use punches, use a one inch punch, a two inch punch, and then the one and a quarter inch punch if you'd like. And I'll show you, it's right in here. Here's the one that's one and a quarter. I put it on the inside. And on both of my cards, you know, I like to bring the outside of my card into the inside. And I just put me some circles on the inside of the card to bring that in. My focal point here is still a circle. My focal point here is a flower. So you can do anything you want with that. But the main thing of it is, is I've decorated with circles. I did make another one of these. Let me get it real quick. And it looks totally different because it just depends on what you're doing when you get it together. You can see I added more down here. So that's another variation. You just start putting circles together and it can all turn out different. Um, what I am using today though is the Tidings of Christmas paper. I'm using the Bedazzling, which is in our catalog, our celebration catalog, which is good till the end of September. It's a free item for every $50 you spend. You can get a free item out of our celebration catalog. And this Bedazzling paper came from that. And then the black and white prints on this card came from the celebration group. So, um, but we're not going to do that one. But I just wanted to tell you that. And we're also um, just using the stamp, 
set per perfectly plaid, and I've used that a couple times. So when it's right here, we'll be using this tree and this Merry Christmas. I'm using some linen thread and some champagne um, gemstones. So that's exactly what we've done here, okay? So let's get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock, and we're gonna fold that in half. If I can get it up there. It's not where to go. And I'm just going to fold that in half. And then I've got a piece of paper that measures five and, an, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And it just is gonna leave, leave us a tiny border on our card. So we're gonna be using that for the front of our card with this piece that measures four and an eighth by two and a half that can go down here. And we can use this side or we can use this side. This is the side that's on my sample, but I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use have this side up tonight. So let's go ahead and glue that in. So we have that. Hope it fits. You know, when I cut the pieces and they're not cut at the same time, sometimes I get them a little off. Well, I can't even get it stuck on there. I think I might have to trim this one. It might be a little bit crooked. A crooked cut. Trying to line it up, but I think my paper is cut a little crooked on this one. Which that's no big deal. We can get all that straightened out. Yep, see how little tiny bit that is off? Let's get a paper trimmer and trim that just real, real quick. That way, if we can go ahead and finish it, it'll drive me crazy on my card like that. So I'm going to put that in my paper trimmer. Just ever so. See if that took that off. Just a little bit more. It doesn't... What is wrong? My blade is coming off. Ever have that happen? Your blade want to come off your... There we go. Now it's better. Got that taken care of. We all make those mistakes. Where something just doesn't fit just right. And we have to straighten it up. And that's what I wanted to do on here. There we go. We're straight now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some linen thread. And I'm going to take about a yard of it. So I will uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap Actually, I'm going to leave enough here for tying my bow. I think that'll be good. And I'm just going to wrap this other one around here like this. So there we go. And I'm going to take this first and tie it in a knot because the knot is so little with this thread. I want that to keep my um, thread really tight right there. So I'm going to tie that in a knot. And then I'll tie a little bow here. This ribbon likes to, it being on that spool, it likes to curl. So it's like, and if I hold my finger here, my little bow pieces won't curl as bad. 
to pull them down a little bit. Because they want to curl sometimes. I'm not going to cut my strings yet. I'm going to wait until I get everything made on here. So now I can go ahead and take this and put it on my card. Because we're not going to be stamping on it or doing anything crazy. And I do make sure I kind of get some glue onto that um, linen thread just to hold it down. I always make sure my card's opening on the right, the right way because I have been known to glue that a little bit funny. Now my card's going to be a little bit... bit of glue. A little bit of glue and you guys know I like to use my glue eraser because that will take that right off and it is gone. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circles. I've already pre-cut my circles and I have my white one that I'll be stamping on and then I have my bedazzled um, one here and then my piece here but what I'm going to do with this piece is I want to turn it over and I'm actually going to be putting it um, I think I'm going to put that here and this here like so okay so let's put these on and I'm going to put this on with dimensionals and the reason why I'm going to use the dimensionals is because of the um, thread being right there. That thread kind of wants to hold it up in the center. So let's just put a couple dimensionals on here and go ahead and just make sure we're not getting that in the way. We'll put that over here. We'll go ahead and what we're going to do on this one is I'm going to put a dimensional right here and then what I will do that's going to be here and then I'll have just a touch of glue here and that dimensional since that's raised up it'll hold that up over here okay so let's put this right here there we go now let's get the rest of these out. I have several bedazzles over here. Lots of them. And then I have these that I can use on either side. The papers, they have that. This has that on the back. that has the leaf on the back so this is what we have so what I'm going to do I think is I'm going to take another one of these and I'm going to stick that right here I think that's where I want that so I'm just kind of building up my circles you can lay them out which I did before not that I keep them the way I lay them though that's that's the bad thing with me Oh, my light went out. Did you see that? Don't ask me why. I guess my computer decided to go off. That was cute. Let's get it back on. There we go. It's like nothing like making a card at nighttime and the lights go out. So I'm going to take this one and I think I'm going to put it right in under here. I think I'll take this with the um, that is the soft succulent color which brings out this soft su succulent there so now we're going to come down here and I think I'm going to put a white one with some white a 
over here. And I think I'll put a green right in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you have to put your finger down on it to kind of hold it for a second. Then I'm going to take my And then I think all of these, here's a red one. We're going to take and put this red one down here. Yep. And we'll have a red one right here. So there's my circles on my card. Whoops. Didn't hold my finger quite on up quite long enough. Because you need to really hold your finger down, especially on this paper right here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up. I have a piece of five and a quarter by four inch cardstock that's going to go on the inside. And we will just stick that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bring in some circles. And I think I'll do that with this one. That one felt thick. I thought maybe I might have had two on there, but I didn't. And then we'll do a red one. Had a lot of glue on there, but it'll dry. It'll dry. So there's the inside of our card. Easy, easy. About used all the circles I cut. Now I'm going to take this piece right here, and I have a piece of here it is a piece of scrap. I'm going to bring in this tree that I told you we would be using with the soft succulent ink pad. I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it real dark because I want my words to be able to be seen. It's got my ink pen all. There we go. So there we go with that. Easy stamping. It's all about using this DSP. I've been using doing that a lot lately. I don't know what the kick is of that because I'm usually not a big user of. DSPs or designer series papers. Um, I tend to stay more with card stocks, but I've been doing a lot of this lately and I think I'm getting to like it a lot. So I'm going to keep my tree straight here and then I'm going to put my Merry Christmas at a little bit of an angle on there. Let that ink soak into the card stock really good. Just pick it up. So we have that done. So now we're ready to put that on our card. And we will just tuck this. Let me get that out of the way. Bring this back in. And we're just going to tuck this right over here. Okay. Probably up just a little bit. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting the dimensionals right here and the glue right here to add to my card. Okay. So I'm going to put two on there just because I want to make sure that it's held down. And then just a tiny bit of glue over here to stick to that piece of DSP. Quick cards. Well, you have to take time out to... Um, I'm going to make sure that I got my trees straight and not my words. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these up a little bit. And we will take some rhinestone or some the champagne rhinestones and we're going 
to add them to our card. So let's do that. Let's put one up here. Maybe one here. I put about five on this card just because I wanted to give it some shine. And there we go. That is a finished card, ladies, and it surely only took us about probably 15 minutes to do that when you once you have your um, circles done. Again, let me tell you, you can use a one-inch circle punch, two-inch circle punch. These are dies I used from our layering circles. Since Stampin' Up! doesn't carry the punches anymore, I went ahead and used the dies um, to show you that it, it'll work with the dies, but if you have the punches, it'll work with the punches. You can do it either way. And then, um, that's all the size circles you really need. And it depends on how many circles. I mean, on this one, I didn't put near what I put on here. But I kind of like this like that. Um, I just think that, I don't know. I just like it. I know not everybody has the same taste, but that's okay, too. And, um... I'm just showing the different ways to use your DSP. It's the same paper, but um, just the different sides. And here is that Tidings of Christmas. And there's a lot of colors you can use. And you can even go with, like, the beiges and get it to look more like a country um, Christmas card. Do, like, the country colors and stuff. But there's a lot of papers in here that you can use. I've now used all this paper. I've used it so much. I've used all that paper except for the scraps out of my little stash here. But that's okay. I got more coming. I can't do without my paper. I'm a paper hoarder. That's a bad thing to have to say. It's like, oh my goodness. I love my paper. So here's the cards, ladies. Here's the cards. And um, here is the PDF. Whoops that you can get over at uh, my Facebook group. I am trying to start my blog back up, which I'm a very bad blogger. I'll have to admit that. I I work on it and then I kind of stop. I guess I have just too many irons in the fire of all the other jobs that I have that I do besides my stamping up. So bear with me, but if I ever get that running, and I'll tell you, if I can get it running and get some stuff on there, I might convert my um, PDFs on over to there if I can find out how to do that. I'm not real good at it yet. So, um, but if I do, then you could go to the blog and be able to print them off. But this is going to tell you everything I used and how I did it. And um, this is the fourth card in my circle series. I have a, what I call my circle series going where I have circles as my focal point. So, that's it for you ladies, and I hope you enjoyed it, and um, until I come again, I hope you guys have a good day, good week, good night, whatever it is, and be blessed in whatever you do. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye.